da, pero los quita. Los quita más de lo que los da. Los quita más de lo que los da. The Woman and the Sea is available to stream through the Milwaukee Film Festival right now. It takes place in a remote Chilean fishing village and was created by a Milwaukee film filmmaker. And she joins us right now, Camila Guarda. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I want to say, first of all, congratulations that your film is being featured in this year's festival. But a Chilean fishing village? So did you build yes. a set or did you go to Chile to make the film? <laughs> well, I am Chilean. Okay. <laughs> so I traveled back to my home country. I had this idea in my head for so many years and I just decided to, to travel back and go to this very remote fishing village. It has only about 2,000 uh, people living there. Yes. Uh, and I made two trips to get to know the people to see if they were on board with me actually making a film about them and then went back later during the summer, which is fishing season, and uh, I got to meet these two amazing women. And so the story is about these two women? It's a true yes. story? Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a short documentary. So we have on one side Julieta, who is a fisherwoman, and the only fisherwoman in this village. She works in all male crews, and she has been doing this for the past 60, years uh, she started very very young and then the other woman that we were seeing there she is gloria and she tends to symbolic cemetery that is there in the village this is a symbolic cemetery because it has empty tombs for those who are lost at sea and never found again yeah. so it's it's really a film about these two women and how they navigate life and death at sea in this very remote fishing village wow so camilla tell me this what would you like for people to take away from this film well, I think there are two main messages that really resonate with women all over the world, even though this was filmed in such a very far away country. Um, so for Julieta, she's the only woman working in these all male crews. And I think every woman can relate to working in male dominated environments, right? But they persevere yes. and they go on and they succeed. And then with Gloria and the fact that she still, after decades of losing her brother out at sea, she still tends to the cemetery. So another message could be finding ways to still honor your loved ones once they're not here. And especially if you did not get the chance to say goodbye, like so many people do when they lose their loved ones, yes. still find ways to honor them and to find ways to remember them, not with sadness, but with joy and with these memories that you have of them. Yes, that is absolutely beautiful. I want to say again, thank you and congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so much.